Chapter 6, Mishnah 6. This Mishnah cites laws that apply where the Kohen did not follow the correct procedure for a bird offering. If when offering a bird ola, he did not remove the crop, the feathers, and the intestines that come out with the crop, but instead burnt them on the Mizbeach, or he did not saturate it, i.e. the bird's head or body, with salt before burning it, or he made any other change in its procedure after squeezing out its blood, the korban is valid. Once the bird's blood has been squeezed out, the essential avodah is complete and the korban is valid. Any change that occurs afterward, such as not removing the crop or not salting it, cannot make it invalid. The following changes, however, do disqualify the korban. If he separated the head from the body in the case of the bird chatas, i.e. he cut both the windpipe and the food pipe, or if he did not separate the head from the body in the case of a, the bird ola, i.e. he cut only one of the pipes, the korban is invalid because these changes take place before the avodah of squeezing out the blood. The Mishnah focuses on changes made in the avodah of squeezing out the blood of a bird ola, which as taught in Mishnah 4 has two parts, squeezing out the blood of the body and squeezing the blood out of the head. If he squeezed out the blood of the head but did not squeeze out the blood, the blood of the body, the korban is invalid because the avodah of squeezing is essential for the validity of the korban, and squeezing out the blood of the body is the critical part of this avodah. However, if he squeezed out the blood of the body but did not squeeze out the blood of the head, the korban is valid because squeezing out the blood of the head is not essential.